Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about start screen. This is important screen for beginners. So this screen contains two sections, one to create content, another one is a tool sections. This section contain mix of options. Okay, so general option is to uh, like you can uh, open your IDs, templates, tagging, configuration browser and translation configurations. The number, we'll see this one by one later as and when we need. Workflow, so workflow related stuff comes here. You can create your models, you can check the instance, means your workflow instance options, what are the archive options. So different workflow related options are available here. And then operations. This console contains the things related to your systems. You can uh, like you can check the systems, go to the web consoles, which I showed you earlier, Apache web consoles and the configurations. A lot of system related operations are available here. Sites where the options are available for sites like blueprint. We'll see what is that blueprint launches context hub. These are some important things. Assets, right? Assets are related to upload your assets. We'll see that in the same uh, tutorial. So like you want to see some custom metadata profile. What are those custom metadata and profiles? We'll see that. Okay. If you want to, if you want to create, customize something related to your assets, you can do here. And these are the resources available. These are related to your deployment. Let's say if you want to create replication agents, when you want to move content from author to publish, so though you can create replication agents, package share, other stuff. Security, where you create your users and groups and other things, you give permissions, auth related clients. So there's number of options available. You can check here. These are the configurations. If you want to create configurations, basically cloud configurations, so you can do here and the option to communities and the commerce. Commerce is a section where when you use commerce related stuff with AEM. So uh, these are things here like to set up payment and all. So another section important is to create content here. So if you see the project, project is specifically this contain some jobs. If you create a project, you can define jobs here. Let's say you can define translation jobs and other jobs inside this. So if you see open, so you will see the project and folder and inside this project, once you are done, uh, you can see the options to create a different kind of jobs. Okay, let me show you. So here the number of types available and if you add, you will see a options, different options to create different kind of uh, jobs. Sites is basically the most important section of this console. Here you can create different sites, means you create pages, sites and all. You maintain sites here. We will have a separate tutorial just for this section. Okay, let's go back and the experience fragments. Experience fragments, uh, I'll explain later, but you can create experience fragment here. Assets, you upload assets for a specific site okay you can upload uh, images videos documents and aem always create different renditions of your assets i showed you previously the metadata profile so your metadata profile controls something of your assets right some functionality we'll see that in detail in asset related tutorials okay and next one is forms so you can create forms here but by default forms are not available you have to get a add-on package from adobe share or adobe download center and you have to install that on your aem this package is specifically for your os so if you are running on mac you have to download specifically for mac mac machine so now then you can create your forms another one screens we'll see that later personalization if you want to you know do some personalization with AEM you can perform those activities here and the commerce so if you are running e-commerce site with AEM you can use these options nowadays you can integrate your Magento with AEM okay using CIF component so in that case also sometimes you can use this console we see that of uh, you know entirely separate series and the communities communities related stuff you can do here your top navigation bar also sees some important information. So if you see from the right hand side, this is the logged in user. What is the user? Here you can see the notifications. 
this is important this question mark icon if you click on this you will see some options for help and the important is second last so here you can see the version currently running version so let's say if you install a service pack called 6.5.13 so once you install the version would be available 6.5.13 so you can see the version number here this is show you other products adobe cloud products but right now this is highlighted so we are using only this as of now these are other products available and it this also provide a search okay so you can search anything from entire repository so this console or section is very important for you as a beginner so if you have any question add your comment thank you